Well, hi everyone, it's Joe for Joe for Hire, and I've been finding out my Echo PB77T. Uh, I can pretty much use it year round, really. Um, in the last video, I was doing some snow removal with it, and uh, the only thing I've done since then, guys, I finished blowing it off. It took me three or four times, but because uh, it was some, well, it's just drifted. It's a big area here. Uh, we're at. St. James Anglican Church in St. Mary's and uh, all I've done guys other than using the blower is just put some salt down and everything else should melt pretty good um, yeah like I said it's pretty open here and I didn't think it snowed that much but I guess it drifted quite a bit so anyways I didn't have to do the whole sidewalk but there was a good section of it so and I thought yeah I could use the shovel or I could use a blower a snow blower but hey why not so and uh, yeah I don't know how good that video was guys um, I was doing it one-handed um, but that just shows I was just fooling around seeing how much it could look clear off the grass uh, I did another section a couple more sections here it's clouded up quite a bit the Sun was out there there was one of my sunglasses So there, that's pretty much was one pass of the blower, and uh, yeah, it went pretty well. Here's another one over here. Give you a good idea how much it can move around. So, hey, it saved me from saved my back from shoveling, so I'm okay with that. Uh, there was some slush and ice on the ground. There were some other areas behind the church I had to. Um, I had to use the, the shovel uh, just to scrape it down and throw some salt down. But for um, for this stuff, I, I'm, I'm really impressed how much that Echo Blower 770T can, um, can move this around. Um, is it the most effective and fastest way? Um, I would say no, only because I got my pants soaked because a lot of that snow blows back on you. But uh, I just thought it was something fun to do. And um, maybe a smaller sidewalk, it would be more economical to do it that way. Uh, guys, I have used the Echo 77T uh, to blow off uh, some driveways. It was about the similar snow. And uh, yeah, you're using a bit more gas fuel. But, um, you know, if it gets the blower, you know, if it saves time unloading the blower and then uh, taking it off the trailer, moving it to the sidewalk or to the driveway, and then loading the back up. You know, it's just something I'm playing around with. Like I said, guys, you gotta find something that, uh, if you're gonna sink the money into it, um, you wanna be, it is really nice that you're able to use it year round. Like I said, I don't use this every day. Um, when I bought it, it was uh, end of November, early, I, actually no, it was December. And I go, well, this is crazy. I, I'm buying a, a leaf blower in December. Oh, I'm not, I won't use it until next year, but uh, I was still doing leaf jobs the last week, or the first week of December, right up until it snowed. So, uh, overall, guys, I'm really happy with this. Um, like my, uh, Unlike my uh, past 280 system with the Pro Paddle, and I have used the Pro Paddle here before, too. Uh, it's worked great, but I'm having problems with the, um, the throttle cable either popping out or sticking in the wide open position on the past 280. And that kind of scares me. It's likely just freezing because uh, I know it's a lot colder air going inside the carburetor than what it is outside. Um, but luckily enough, for some reason, I have not had the same issue on my 770T. So, and, uh, and I obviously I use it quite a bit. So, um, why the throttle isn't sticking on this and it is on the past 280, I, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe, maybe with the Echo, the throttle is more enclosed. And I know on the past 280, it's, it's open. Um, I have the string trimmer attachment for the past 280, and I've never had an issue with the throttle cable at all. Um, but as one mechanic pointed out to me, he goes, anything outside you're using now with the throttle cable, you're going to have issues with in the extreme cold. So um, it started off cold today. Uh, it's kind of mild now. Um, but the wind's picked up and it's clouded over and I think we might get some snow tomorrow. They are calling for more on Saturday. 
Chances are likely with the melon we're getting on Saturday, I likely won't be using this. I'll likely be going with the shovel and the blow and the snow blower, the 30-inch Cub Cadet. Uh, I got my backup Cub Cadet fixed today. Uh, the only issue I had with it was the um, uh, the pull string. There was a pulley going on it, and the mechanic told me rather than get the whole assembly, he was able to get the pulley. Uh, labor was the same. He had to take a lot of stuff off to get it, and I thought, well, hey. You know what, they know better than I do, and hey, they have a heated shop, so I was all for spending the money to have the guy fix it for me, and uh, I was very impressed when it came back, and it was all fixed, and it was only gone for two days, and so that way it's nice to have a backup blower, snow blower that is. Anyways guys, that's all I have to say for that, and um, hope everyone's having a good week, and uh, just to let you know that uh, Friday I am going to be doing a live version of Joe for Hire. I know my last two, I kind of done on the, at the uh, spur of the moment. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been on when I've been live, but uh, that's okay. Anyways, guys, this is Joe for Joe for Hire, signing off and looking forward to seeing you guys Friday. Bye.